My name is Miriam Goldfield. I'm 18 years old. The closed loop, it's basically, it's known as the artificial pancreas. Um, and it's basically, you have two devices. One is the insulin pump, and the other is a continuous glucose monitor. And basically, they talk to each other. And the continuous glucose monitor, that'll send information to the pump saying, you know, I'm high, my blood sugar is high. Um, and then the pump will give me insulin according to what data it gets from the glucose monitor. It helps create a more of like a normal life for me at least because I don't have to constantly worry about putting in carbohydrates into the pump because the glucose monitor and the pump are doing that for me. So in this particular study we are testing uh, what we call a closed loop artificial pancreas. Uh, now artificial pancreas is a term that gets thrown around a lot but it's not actually a mechanical pancreas. What an artificial pancreas is, uh, is an insulin pump, just like the kind that people with diabetes often wear, uh, but instead of manually determining the insulin doses uh, in, an, in an artificial pancreas, the doses are calculated automatically in an ongoing fashion every minute based on the glucose or sugar levels that is being continuously read from a little sensor device that the person with diabetes wears. Well, you know, right now, people with diabetes test their blood sugars 10 to 12 times a day. They're calculating how much insulin they need. They're making adjustments in case they're exercising or if they're sick. Uh, and it all has to be done uh, manually. You have to think about it and you have to do it. Um, the systems that we have now that we're testing will all run silently in the background. So you can just live your life and as long as your sensor's working, as long as your pump is working, um, everything will just happen. Uh, this would be really a, a total paradigm shift in how diabetes is managed. Um, you know, the history of diabetes technology is that every tool we've ever developed in diabetes has improved uh, health and improved medical control of the diabetes, but it's come at the expense of increased burden. So we're constantly asking people with diabetes to do more, do more, think more, test more, wear more. Um, this will be the first time that we can step up our ability to control diabetes with less burden. I'd really like to see it um, on the market so that we can get it, you know, however, um, not within, you know, a hospital. So I'd really hope that it would be approved by the FDA and it'll come um, and then everyone can use it because I think it'll help, especially kids. I know they're still doing, they're going to continue doing um, tests with closed loop though, combining it with other studies. And so I'd like to participate in those. I think whatever I can to help further the closed loop system along to get it approved so everyone can use it. I think it's really important.